What's up guys? So today, uh, Steffi uh, just left for vacation, so I'm taking her Miata and I think we're finally gonna finish the wrap on it. I know we've been putting off for a long time. The whole issue with the whole shop move really put things back and then my car ended up being a part and a bunch of excuses. So I'm sorry, Steffi, but I will get your car right for when you come back from vacation. So I guess we're gonna start today and start doing panel by panel. So let's go. <laughs> If you're over 6'2", don't buy a Miata. Hell, if you're over 5'10", don't buy a Miata. This is not fun to drive when you're tall. <laughs> so before I start to tackle the Miata today, um, I actually need a bung for my intake air temperature sensor. It's supposed to go on the cold side of the uh, intercooler piping. And so uh, I couldn't find one any, any, I couldn't find a bung anywhere locally. So I figured it might be a little easier and quicker if I make the bung myself. So what I did was, I went to my local hardware store and bought the right size tap and drill bit that I need. Well, here's the drill bit, the tap's somewhere. But, um, and I have, luckily, I have a piece of uh, 7 eighths aluminum stock. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off of that and hopefully thread it and tap it, and easy as that. So I just cut the aluminum stock. I got two pieces just in case I mess up. So I'm gonna clean these up and then go down to Justin's to see if he has a drill press set up because I forgot my drill at home. Well, I think Justin's out to lunch, so I'll just come back later. Right, so I was actually able to drill out the piece using a drill that Don actually had in his toolbox. And I made fun of him a long time ago for bringing this because it's literally like a concrete drill. And I was like, when the hell would we ever use that? And I just did. So I apologize, Don, thank you very much. You should really use a drill press if you're doing this. One, because you could be more accurate. Because if it'll focus, you'll see it's not perfectly centered, and the bore probably isn't perfectly symmetrical. All right, so I messed up, and I bought the wrong tap. Um, I kind of just Googled it when I was in the store, and I was very convinced that it was the right one. But of course, it's about a mil off in diameter, which is insane. It's such a pain in the ass. It's, it's, like a, it's not a standard thread pitch, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably gonna have to order it now. I just wasted so much money on that tap and I'm crying about it to myself right now, but whatever, it's always a learning experience. You mess up sometimes and you, you eat it. So now my game plan is to order it or text a few people and see if anything has, anyone has anything laying around. So I'm, I'm gonna text a few people and do my research and try and get that done. All right, so I guess I'm an idiot because it's literally just uh, NPT thread and I should have assumed that from the beginning, <laughs> but whatever, it's a learning experience. So now at least MP3, NPT threads are pretty easy to find, so I should be able to get it at Home Depot. So I'm gonna go down there and spend more money on a tap and uh, I sh it, this should be the right one, but I'm, embar I'm embarrassed and I'm mad, but whatever. After driving around for like three hours trying to find an NP, a 3 8 NPT tap, which should be the easiest thing to find because it's very standard. It's like, it's like a um, plumbing fixture, like a general plumbing fixture size, and I just couldn't find it anywhere. But I went to one of my buddies in the units. His name's Jason. He he has like a um, he does like general repairs and stuff, and he has a pretty cool Civic. He actually ended up having the tap and saved me a lot of time. So I'm really excited. So I tapped my little fitting didn't come out perfect but it now fits so now I can go weld up to my pipe and I should be all done finally today has sucked the amount of running around I had to do just to get this to thread out ugh, whatever I'll stop complaining so Don what's your big plan today with your 240 oh, just do a little change relax it's been a long week same we're only kind of halfway through DJ 800 cigarettes per puff. There you go. No, was it like was it worth it, DJ? It was worth it. Was it worth it? It was worth it. Worth it. All right, I've been sitting around being lazy as hell today, so I guess it's time to finally start working on the Miata. Um, really don't feel like doing this today, so I'm gonna just do a few easy pieces like the rear deck lid and like the gas tank cover and maybe the rear panel and we'll see but I could hear the guys in the woods with a grom. I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> so 
for some reason we decided to cut this tree down. It's actually in the way of like a prime path, so we're using DJ's little axe and pretty successful so far. We've been kind of tag teaming it. <laughs> <sighs> the path is cleared. Was it worth it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was worth it. <laughs> I gotta go work on this damn Miata. <laughs> That was fast. What the hell just happened? Holy shit! I heard I heard someone's horn just going off, and I was like, someone dumped it. Yeah, it's literally just, I was just like, Beep. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Nice, nice. It's never wheeling that I break or crash. I didn't crash this time. I just freaking stopped right. it. Get a pair of pliers. I'm gonna need some dad strength. Look at that. Good as new. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Hold tight as fuck. Tight. Tight. So you went to hold it down. Hold it down? Yeah, just put it like wrap right on the corner like that. Yep. Thank you. Done. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Done. The whole car? Done. One shot. <laughs> the whole piece took me like an hour. <laughs> Not that long, but the trim is always a pain in the ass. It didn't come out as good as I want. It's kind of a pain in the ass when you wrap red, if you nick the vinyl at all and you see red, it sticks out so harshly, especially on green, because it looks like fucking Christmas, so. What's the next panel? I don't know. <laughs> all right, well, this piece took way too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steffi, I'll have this done by the time you get back, but mm, I hate wrapping. I might just send it on a fender or the side skirts. We'll find out, but. We're all, we're all hungry, and uh, we figured that uh, across the train tracks is a Wendy's. We never even realized it was right there, so we're gonna take a walk and get Wendy's. You guys wanna see a dead body? Oh. We made it. Well, that's a tech, chill. That's a tech. Oh, nice man. Phony ass, ass. Wendy's. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Benny brought a puppy, and it's like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. He's so cute. Uh, suggest names in the comments. Swish. Swish. I think swish is <laughs> Benny decided to stop by, and every time I see his car now, I am baffled. I love this car so much. He even put his air mirrors on now. Oh my god, this car is so gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> After my struggle all day, I finally got the bung welded in with my sensor and it's all set about damn time. I drove myself insane trying to get this bung made. Half stupidity, half no one having the part. So that is all set. And huge shout out once again to my buddy Justin for welding up for me. I'd be so lost without him. Um, if you guys are in Connecticut or just want to take a trip, um, he does all type of custom works. Hit him up on Instagram and feel focused. That's Morphous Performance. He does anything from maintenance to total custom fab, and he's the man. And, and, and he's honestly dirt cheap and does amazing work. So, <laughs> but I guess time to throw this in. Uh, can be a pain in the ass, but that should be all set. And then I guess it's ready to get retuned. So I like the mid month setup, you know. Actually, Benny, <laughs> Benny inspired me, honestly, to do the high mount and the speed density conversion because of how well his car was running. So, you're not going to run both well in it? Nope. Why? Because I want to sound Flutter like a two. Side? Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not running it. I'm not. If anyone wants to know, I am not running a blow off valve. I know it's a very controversial yeah. subject, but you know what? Okay. Do your research, make up your own mind. I made up mine, and I'm happy without it. Or go to like Japanese videos. No way to run blow off valve there nope. in Japan. So. Should be awesome. I'm excited. It's gonna sound like a 2J now. <laughs> or just go t take take him to my car. So, <laughs> so my speed density setup is now officially done. Intercooler fully in, map sensor in, intake air temperature in. Now it's just time to get my base map remade and then ready for the streets. Hell yeah! Everyone left a little while ago, and I did my typical garage cleanup. So I'm exhausted. I'm gonna call it a night. I didn't get as much done today as I'd like. I know I say that a lot. I spent all afternoon trying to figure out that bung situation for my intake air temperature sensor. Though it was embarrassing, it took me so freaking long to find this. I did get it done. So now my car should basically be ready. I'm super excited. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been 
some of you guys have been complaining I don't really leave the shop too much and yeah I understand I've been just trying to grind on my car I really want to get it done and once the S13 is ready and running then I'll be able to go out a lot more because I I mean anywhere I go I'm gonna to want to take my S13 so and it gives me a good excuse to go out um, hopefully next week I'll be hitting a meet in the Z I'm really excited it's supposed to be a really cool meet in New York and I'm hoping to make it so stay tuned for that um, and like always if you guys have any suggested content, please let me know because it just makes my life easier so I don't have to come up with crazy ideas and yeah. And Steffi, I'm sorry I didn't get much done on your cars tonight. I was really exhausted all day. Um, I didn't get much sleep. I had to drive Steph to the airport really early this morning and, and I drove around everywhere all day to find that stupid thread. So I will be making moves on the two Miata. I knew you guys have been eager for me to finish that and I'm sorry, but I will soon. So. I am going to call it for tonight, so you guys take care, like, subscribe, hit the like button if you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already, almost at that 100k, help me get there, we're only about a thousand away, maybe a little less by now, but, okay, sorry, have a good night, like, comment, subscribe.